what is good guys it's ray j back with another video and in this one, i want to break down what's going on with tesla stock and talk about kathy wood's projections for tesla why she believes tesla could go to 2600 if not 3100 a share over the next couple of years what her rationalization is what her reasoning is and what this means for tesla and what are the other bullish cows that could actually make this a reality but before i break the devil's information before i get into any more details let me just mention a couple of things i am firstly not a financial planner so take nothing i say as financial advice and also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks and offerings in just about five days. Anyways, for Tesla, I just want to say from a technical standpoint, we have a nice inverse head and shoulders like structure that has upside potential. But going into next week, we have to watch and see if Tesla gets a little dip and if we could try to hold above 168. If we hold above that support, then there's a good chance Tesla could rebound and try to continue to push and eventually make a nice little reverse to start pushing to those new highs, breaking past 190. But if we lose 168, then that's going to be a bearish signal and Tesla could start dipping a lot lower. So I want to talk more about that maybe later on on this channel. I want to focus now on Kathy Wood and what she's saying. So Kathy Wood and AR Care is saying that the expected value for Tesla in 2029 is 2,600 per share. That's a massive, massive return on investment over a thousand percent. That's going to show massive, massive growth going forward. So we have the different targets right over here. The first thing they're mentioning is that their expected value is around 2,600 by 2029. And then for uh, the bearish target, they have about 2,000 and the bullish target is 3,100. And that's actually very, very awesome. So she's saying the most probable, uh, excuse me, the most probable target is going to be 2,600. And this was just updated a few days ago. So this is actually very, very awesome. So why is Kathy Wood saying this? What is the reason behind this? Because guys can see this really interesting model right over here. If the bearish target over here, uh, all the way down here at, at the very least $2,000, and then we have 3,100 as the more bullish target, and then the expected value of 2,600. Uh, and then also without autonomy, with no autonomy, then we actually have about 350 right over here. That's based off the Monte Carlo range of possible outcomes. But once again, still very, very bullish nonetheless. And Tesla's growth depends a lot on autonomy and different factors just like that. Now, either way, that's still insane growth, whether we get to 350 or 2000 or 3100, but she's expecting at least 2600. And that's actually very, very likely. So that, in my opinion, looks very, very bullish. Uh, and that makes me very, very excited about how things are looking. Now, moving forward, why does she say this? What is the reasoning behind this? You guys can see she has a very different views. Uh, a, a very different view is the fact that uh, we don't just have EVs making up the majority of their revenue, but it's also because of different factors. So if you have $1.2 trillion in revenue, 63% of it could be coming from just the robo-taxi alone. Uh, that's going to make a very, very big sector of their growth, not to mention energy storage. But the two main things that are driving Tesla's growth, in her opinion, at least for the next few years, are going to be the robo-taxi. That's going to be very, very bullish. And the EVs. So what's going on with the EVs? Uh, sector in the market. As you guys know, EV sales are continuing to uptrend at least across the globe, especially in the United States and also in China. And with EV sales continuing to grow and grow and grow, there's going to be a lot of uh, speculation about what this could actually lead to. So Tesla has a big share in this. As their EV sector ends up growing, they're not only going to sell a lot more vehicles, but they're going to have a bigger fleet. When you have a bigger fleet, this allows for more data to be kind of taken together and kind of sent to their data centers. And this data will help them improve FSD. On top of this, when they start incorporating the robo taxi, that's going to be even more bullish and even more exciting for them. But Kathy Wood is arguing that it's not just about their EVs, it's also the robo taxi that's going to start driving in trillions and trillions in revenue as time goes on. Now, for the super bullish case, if we do end up reaching, you know, $8.2 trillion in revenue, the majority would still come from the robo taxi. And she thinks that this is going to be groundbreaking. Now, she's also saying that within uh, a few years, you know, Tesla could achieve this, uh, you know, the robo taxi. She thinks that that's going to become very useful for them. But it's going to take some time, of course, for us to truly know if that's going to be the case. But she's betting on that. That's what her main analysis is basically betting on. So looking at the bearish outcome. We're going to go through some more of these possible outcomes. Let's say Tesla sells about 5.8 million of these vehicles in total. 5.8 million in total. That's the more bearish outcome right over here. Uh, the more bullish outcome is going to be 14.4 uh, million of them. So somewhere between there, Tesla is going to likely end up reaching. I believe that Tesla is getting closer and closer to some crazy goals. And this is, remember, like five years into the future. Imagine how many new Gigafactories could come out in just that period of time and how many more Tesla could end up building. 
Revenue from their EVs could range between 250 and 400 billion dollars, which is absolutely insane. And then from an autonomous uh, driving, you, we could actually get, get even more in revenue, over 600 billion dollars to about almost a trillion dollars, somewhere within this range. It's been calculated depending on how many of these EVs they sell. The gross margins also look really, really strong at this 56% mark. So very, very nice looking uh, projections allow for a market cap of about seven, uh, $7 trillion, basically. Uh, it's about 10 trillion, depending on how things go. So that's how she sees it from the bearish and the bullish outcome. Uh, currently, the market cap for Tesla is about 500 billion. This is actually very incredible, and it still, you know, shows how much money is still in Tesla. But there's going to be a massive explosion if we end up achieving this. So her model is based off AI and autonomous driving. So this is the, <laughs> excuse me, the updated uh, autonomous driving model. You guys can see right over here we have the percentage of simulations uh, indicating the first year of Tesla's robo taxi. Uh, commercialization. So she's seeing that this could be coming out as soon as 2025, if not 2026. And it says it right over here that Tesla will launch the RoboTaxi service within the next two years. And that the probability of Tesla failing to launch that within five years is actually very, very tiny. So she's very confident within five years, the service is going to be out. Uh, and also she thinks it's going to happen within the next two years. There's a very, very high probability looking at this right over here. So she's very confident that they're going to be, you know, launching this based off what she's seeing so far. Uh, the autonomous miles run rate, you guys can see right over here, Tesla has a big fleet, right? You're learning and learning and learning from the millions and millions and billions of miles that, are, that the cars are being driven. The cars are always learning and sending data to a giant supercomputer. That's the Dojo supercomputer. And then if you look at miles per crash on the surface streets only, Tesla's could go 3,200 per crash. This is actually in the thousands. So that's actually absolutely insane. With, with FSD, you know, you could drive a lot uh, and just avoid a crash. So it just shows how safe it really is. Now, the media is very, very known for just screaming and screaming and screaming about all the accidents that happen. They don't really kind of look at all the data, which suggests how safe Tesla's really are. So that's something else that was worth note noting. And then that's actually what's helping these models improve a lot more. So another thing that's worth noting is that Optimus, they assume that Optimus will have a minimal impact on their price targets over the next decade. So they're actually saying this. Uh, they do believe that there's potential in it, but this is just under the assumption that we're not really accounting for Optimus. If you do account for Optimus, then things are going to become much, much, much bigger. And that's what gives them even more revenue. Robots, human robots represent a $24 trillion global revenue opportunity at scale. If Tesla just has a small percentage of that share, it's going to be making trillions, trillions and trillions in revenue, which is so very, very bullish. So the Tesla Semi and these other things like Supercharger Network, they've accounted for a lot of this. So based off their conclusion, they see a $2,600 price target by 2029. Their bearish case is 2000 and their bullish case is 3100 under the assumption that autonomous driving the robo-taxi is launched within two years. So if we get that, it's going to be absolutely insane for the revenue and there's going to be crazy growth coming for Tesla. That is what Kathy Wood is saying. And I, I actually find myself in agreement. If Tesla does achieve this, guys, if they actually have a robo-taxi out within two years, that is going to be a game changer. That is going to be massive, absolutely massive for the company. This is going to generate trillions in revenue for the long term. And yes, I could see Tesla running to thousands per share because of that. I do agree with her on that. But remember, we don't know for sure when the robo taxi is coming out. We don't even know what Elon Musk is going to say in August. So we have to wait and see. That's what's going to be key. But another factor that I want to note is that Kathy Wood did not account for as much about Optimus for the next five, six years. If Optimus is, a, you know, this comes out, they start working in the Gigafactory. Musk said that within a year, they're going to have at least a thousand Optimus robots working in the factory. So that's going to be very huge. That could bring Tesla to $25 trillion in market cap. Uh, you know, he didn't say exactly when, but he says it has the potential to do that. And that's been calculated as well. So that is once again, absolutely insane. So you have to consider the RoboTaxi, FSD growth, the growth in sales that Tesla is getting from just their EVs alone as their fleet is increasing, and the fact that uh, they're developing AI. And then on top of all of that, Tesla also has unveiled uh, the fact that they have three new models coming out. They haven't unveiled the actual models, but we know there's three in the works. 
This is actually like uh, a secret right now. We don't know exactly what they're going to be. So we have new models coming out, new gigafactories. We have Kathy Wood telling us about autonomous technology. If the robotaxi truly comes out as soon as Kathy Wood is projecting, that's going to be a game changer for Tesla. And then if they start generating trillions in revenue, that's going to be huge. So with new revenue and all these different sources, that is absolutely bullish for Tesla. And I can't wait for what the future holds. So nonetheless, guys, I want to make it very clear that if you're seeing the share price at you know $178 a share, it's an opportunity. If it sinks down to the 140 area again, I don't care. That's another opportunity because for the long term, this thing is easily going to the thousands and this is a good buying opportunity. How long is long term? I'm just talking about like, you know, four or five years out into the future, guys. We're almost halfway through 2024 already. Time flies. Imagine the growth in Tesla. Imagine how much money is going to be made off this once we enter the next growth phase. Remember, guys, I'm going to show you guys the monthly time frame. Tesla goes through different phases. Why? There are different things that happen in the economy. Sometimes we have low interest rates. Sometimes we have recessions. Sometimes we don't. So my point in saying all that is because look at how much Tesla could run when the time is right. When Tesla was in its running phase, this thing ran like crazy. For years, this thing ran like crazy overall. It came down a bit. Then we got another growth phase in 2022. Since then, Tesla technically has been downtrending, but wait for the next growth phase. Wait for them to unveil the robo-taxi. Wait for, wait for the Optimus bots. Wait for all these things. The share price is going to go bananas. I'm very confident in that, in my personal opinion. And let's just say Kathy Wood is wrong. Let's just say we don't get the robo-taxi for another five, six years, Okay. Even though that's very unlikely, according to Kathy Wood's model, we have so many other catalysts. We have new vehicles coming out, okay? We have AI development coming out, autonomous driving. They're still working on that. And that's, that's, in my opinion, I think Tesla has it in the bag. They're going to get that eventually. It's inevitable at this point. I just don't know the timing. I don't know if it's going to take two years, three years, four years. It also depends on regulations and such. Uh, so we have to see how that goes for Tesla. But imagine these new models are coming out. You know, we have the Optimus robot. We have growth in sales, new gigafactories. It's all bullish for Tesla. Tesla could still break all-time highs with just those things alone. So all of that with the robotaxi makes things even more bullish. So I'll be waiting for these next few years to see how this ends up coming out. And this is going to be the opportunity of a lifetime, in my personal opinion. This is going to be game-changing. This is going to transform the entire world as we know it. Believe it or not, as cliche as that sounds, but I'm very excited. I'm very bullish for the long term and I can't wait to see what the future holds. So I want to make this video kind of short. I'm not going to make this like 20 minutes long. Maybe I'll stop at like 13, 14 minutes just to be very, very clear. You know, Tesla is a monster and I'm very, very bullish for the long term. I'm a huge Tesla bull. This is not a short term projection video. I'm talking about the long term as we approach 2028, 2029 and beyond. And the future is still very bright no matter what anyone tries to say. There's going to be all these people. They're going to be screaming, Tesla's a bad company. It's falling. It's failing, this and that. Those same people will start to FOMO in when this thing starts running. That's the way it is. So just wait, be patient, and just know the future is still bright no matter what. Even if the robotaxi takes longer to develop, even if it takes longer for it to actually be released, there's so many alternative catalysts from what Kathy Wood has been talking about, not to mention the uh, Optimus robots, not to mention their developments in the software, Tesla energy storage, all these different things are bullish catalysts. So you just have to give it time. Once interest rates start coming down, once you know we start to see a lot more demands for cars and Teslas, the, the share price is going to absolutely explode. You have to give it time. I'm very, very confident, guys. I'm very confident about this claim that I'm making. Okay, so if Kathy Wood is correct, she, if she's correct about, you know, this robo taxi coming out within two years, I believe Tesla will reach these targets. I personally agree with her. If she's wrong and it takes longer than it is what it is, she has more information than me on this. She researches this every single day. So if she gets that right, and Musk has been pumping this for quite some time, that robo taxi is out within two years, Tesla is going to go berserk. It's going to absolutely explode as revenue starts to triple, quadruple for Tesla, and it's going to be huge. So we will see what happens in the future. Just know that regardless of how long it takes the RoboTax to come out, I am bullish for the long term and I can't wait to see what the future holds. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for listening. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you guys again tomorrow to talk about the overall market in a lot more detail. But I think that Kathy Wood's analysis is very simple and very, very insightful. So I hope that this brought value into your guys' day. And I'll see you guys very soon tomorrow. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the weekend and peace out.